Good afternoon and welcome to your weekly bulletin from Keys TV News. I'm Zach Stott. A new law to help victims of crime will see families who are fighting for justice get compensation from prisoners' wages. Leila Issa has this report. Daniel Barber was callously beaten to death by a gang of youths in July 2009. His killers got 180 hours community service. His mother, Kathy Barber, is still coming to terms with the loss of her son. And I don't think I will ever get over losing him. I didn't bring my son up to die. And I didn't want to see my son die. It's just, it's une unexplainable what it's like to have lost him. A recent act brought in by the Ministry of Justice sees 40% of prisoner wages go to victims of crimes. But is this enough compensation for families like Cathy's fighting for justice? It would be great, it would, because it's hard. And losing somebody isn't just emotionally hard. It's financially draining. Nobody plans for a 24-year-old man to have his funeral money be there waiting for him to die. We had to find that money and pay for his funeral on a credit card. With the government's wider plans to improve the criminal justice system, this new act can be called the first step forward in getting justice for families. Leila Isa reporting for Keys TV News. From streets and parks to astroturfs and stadiums, football is played all over the UK by young and old alike. It is the national sport, but is it being funded enough at grassroots level? Elliot Millward reports. With the Olympics and the European Championships both being held in 2012, it is a big year for British football. The amount of money in the English Premier League is huge, but at the opposite end of the scale to these clubs, a small grassroots teams. Teams such as Spartak Salford, who were set up in 2011 and are completely self-funded. Many believe that grassroots football is not funded enough by either the FA or Premier League clubs. Do you think grassroots football is uh, funded enough? Um, probably not, no. There's, you hear lots of stories about teams folding due to not being able to afford it, because uh, it's quite pricey to be fair. Uh, How is Spartak Salford funded? Uh, players bring down subs each week, they sign in on forms and we just try to keep money in the bank so we can pay all the fees. It is grassroots teams who are the life and soul of football in Britain and the funding they receive needs to be improved to keep teams like Spartak Salford alive. Elliot Millward, Keys TV News. Liverpool has followed Salford's lead and voted in favour of an elected mayor. The elections will take place in May and we will, of course, be covering the run-up to see who will govern the city of Salford. But what do you think about having an elected mayor? We went out onto the streets of Salford to gauge the public's reaction. So, um, yeah, at least you've got one person to deal with. And like I said, the foot stops there. That's it, full stop. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see whether the mayor will listen to people or not. And um, we'll just have to wait and see, hopefully, we will. Or she will. My view is, is as, as I understand it, is that the, the guy's job is at risk if he doesn't perform. He might be slightly having a merit. So, uh, I think that's an incentive to perform. And to Here's James Bell with the weather outlook for the rest of the week. Thanks Zach. I'm here on the Media City Bridge where I'm sure we can all agree we've had a very chilly start to the week after that heavy snow and weather warnings across the UK. And temperatures are on the way up to around 3 degrees here in Salford and should remain fairly stable into the next week. Nevertheless, still prepare for those cold nights as temperatures drop below zero in the evening. As for the rest of the week we should expect lots of the sun shining but with some cloud and outbursts of rain on Friday. Also to prepare for some gale force winds coming down from the northeast, which will bring winds of around 25 miles per hour, which will hopefully take away the cold weather and bring with it some milder conditions for next week. Back to you in the studio. OK, well that's it for us for Keys TV News this week. Join us next Wednesday at the same time. We'll see you then. Goodbye.